Right, so uh, the day has trickled through my fingers again. Uh, so this is another fairly simple one. It is actually one I planned to plant today, it's just I planned to do it before the light was failing. So let's see if we can get it on before it does fail. Right, so today's planting is a fairly straightforward simple one. Uh, it's also one of the best justified. So we've got a macadamia, which is an Australian, as far as I know, uh, nut tree going in here. They are quite popular around Lusaka and around Zambia more generally. There was a period about, I guess, 10, 15 years ago when everyone was picking macadamias, and I, I wasn't. Um, I've grown a few from seed, but I like a little bit more genetic diversity in, in my crops, and that way I can eventually, you know, having got seeds from different places, having got saplings from different places, hopefully I can end up creating a little bit of a land race which will be more tolerant by propagating from seeds that I generate from the trees I plant here. Um, the companion plant it's getting today is a calanco, and it's for a backwards reason. Usually the calanco is put in because it's fairly toxic plants, they're quite a good way of ensuring that most pests won't eat your crop plant. Uh, so your crop plant is getting to the calanco, realizing it's toxic and backing away. It's very much the sort of ragwort effect you see in some European fields where a stand of ragwort ends up generating brambles and oaks because the livestock won't eat the ragwort so other things get to seed within it. Uh, but in this case it's kind of the opposite. So this is actually being planted almost as a sacrificial plant. Uh, there is a weevil that can foul the nuts of macadamias um, and it also affects avocados as far as I know. Um, and that weevil seems in a few studies I've seen from Australia where macadamia should be native but the calanco isn't to preferentially feed on the mother of millions, the Calanco delicoensis, which basically means you plant it around your macadamias, the weevil is attracted to it and ignores the macadamia, so you have a healthier macadamia crop uh, with less loss to the weevil. Uh, which is completely back to front, but really fascinating to me. Uh, anyway, so that should be everything for today. Uh, so tune in tomorrow when I do have a sort of plan, and I think it will be daylight.